So we've got tournament implications on the line here today from Hawkins Arena. It's the Wofford Terriers and the Mercer Bears. Jada Lewis streaking down the court, takes a bit of contact. But I think I saw everybody in the stands, at least the Mercer supporters that were up on their feet for that one. Mercer, Mercer really needs to make sure that, you know, both of these teams are really, uh, one of them is what's the shooting percentage look like, okay? Shannon Titus with the left hand. The two of them, uh, they really look good on what they're trying to run, either high-low or running four out and hitting the become the light at the collegiate level yet, although, you know, coming out of high school, she was averaging about 16 points a game. They've done that all year long, and I think it's been a really good, uh, honestly, a really good schedule. Definitely slowed down a little bit here in the second. You know, that's exactly, you know, it's funny you say that, Ben, but then that's what you have to do if you're going to be a good rebounding team. It takes a commitment from five people. Here comes Neil Tizer. She's maybe stuck points in the first quarter. She has 12 of the 22 for the Bears right now. Here comes Doherty, and she's going to hit Looking for Jada Lewis in the left corner. She tries to drive baseline. Good dump underneath to Doherty, and she goes up with the right hand. From Wofford last, uh, last Friday night, but the, the, the staple here is for these teams to stay in a man. Won't get one. Lewis now pushing for the Bears. Titus right wing, one dribble, pull up 15 feet. Got it to go. They're trying to go inside one more time. Stolen away by Doherty. Here comes a two on one. Boykin on the receiving end gets it to go. She's only got four points, but I'll guarantee you that uh, she's drawing a lot of attention. Jada Lewis gets an early but Two on two on one side of the floor or the other, and let's see what happens. Here comes Titus, pull up, pure. Came in to sub in for Allie Thane. Ball stripped away by Jada Lewis. She's going to have it on the fast break, all alone with the right hand. Great hands by Jada Lewis. And to go behind the screen, I, I really think that was set up for uh, for them to go take the ball to the back. Mitchell's got you know, whistle happen. They'll call a little bit more fouls as Titus going in. Bank shot, got it to go again. Court offense, and when they do, you know, it's because like Susie Gardner said, I think that, you know, it really works very well for them because they've really uh, had production from all of those. Birdie outlet now to Lewis. She's got numbers. A wild play. But she just does a tremendous job on the boards on both ends. And with five rebounds, Jada Lewis going to try one more time. And why not? She is scorching hot from behind the arc. Ten on the shot clock now. Here comes Lewis driving to her left. Kick out to Doherty, 18 feet. Got it to go. Just under 14 seconds left here as it's inbounded into Tizer. Finds Lewis right corner for three. Got it to go, JD. Three seconds. I don't know if she knows how much time's left. One, and the time will expire. Have enough to score. Correction, she's not going to the free throw line. Mercer just getting possession here. As Doherty with a nice left-handed hook. Shornaya leads four-point game. Right now is Jada Lewis trying to get something going quickly as she goes up with the right hand and good. 4-3, no good. Rebound by Thane. Five seconds now. Doherty steps behind the three-point line. She gets it to go. Wofford's done that, and so has uh, so has Mercer. So, you know, kudos to... Kudos. Ten. It's McDavid looks to take on Titus. Stolen away by Doherty. Doherty. All alone on the right side. She takes it up and in. Under 10 seconds now on the shot clock. Lewis, pull up. Got it! We're good rebounding teams, and they they have battled really hard. Neil Tizer knocks it down. Finds Ellie Thane underneath her first bucket of the game. A huge one there.